And there's controversy over how police used a security camera in Platte City not to catch thieves, to catch people feeding cats. And if that's not odd enough, what really has people upset is that they set up the camera on private property without permission. Sayed Shabir is live in Platte City to explain. Yeah, Krista, the city administrator made it very clear tonight that a mistake was made, but the residents who showed up at tonight's public safety committee meeting were very much divided. Some say that this mistake is not that big of a deal, while others say it should cost the police chief his job. Platte City Police Chief Carl Mitchell was under fire tonight as a gym full of residents sounded off on what he admits to be an error in judgment. He gave the green light to install a surveillance camera on private property. This little sapling tree right here is where they had the, the camera. It was deliberately pointed at the backyard of Steve Nash and his daughter Stephanie Santos. And when they first found the camera, they had no idea who put it there. Is that put there by kidnappers trying to figure out my kids' habits. I let them play outside in the backyard by themselves. They later realized the camera belonged to the police, which, according to the city administrator, had put it up to see if anyone was feeding the feral cats that live in the nearby park. Santos feels her privacy has been violated, and she and her father have lost trust in their police chief. I believe that he specifically uh, broke the oath of his office. He did not serve and protect. He invaded. I'm literally. Uh in fear of what the police might do next. As residents sounded off at tonight's meeting, I will make it my mission to take these issues to a higher level. Chief Mitchell didn't say a word about the issue and declined to do an interview, but the city administrator admitted that a mistake was made. We've uh, apologized repeatedly for that, and we understand that, that making a mistake and apologizing are not uh, sufficient. We have to find out what happened, but why it happened, and we have to take action to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Now, the committee is making several recommendations to the full board. They include that these cameras should not be used until formal, gu formal guidelines are made. They are also asking more training be issued, and they will also be reviewing whether or not the chief should keep his job. They will be taking action during their January meeting. In Platte City, Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.